looks like. Right, so I've arrived in Bury St Edmunds. I'm camped at Cambridge. I'm just going down a back alley at the moment, but you can see it's um so I'm talking to me video. <laughs> you can see it's old by the cobbled pet pavements, you know. So this is where people put their dustbins out and everything, obviously. But it's actually quite an old part of town obvious from this pavement and there aren't many people about so I can talk for a minute. So I've driven up from Cambridge, parked at Barry St Edmunds in a car park I've used a lot. No real problems. A few problems only for a short while getting out of Cambridge which is a nightmare. Well it's, it's Great Shelford actually, not actually in Cambridge exactly. Um, I managed to find my way onto the A11. I mean um, then the I think it's the A14 or M14, I can't remember which. And then I, I'm on familiar ground again. So today the plan is, because I've only really got two days because of the dark nights now. Um, so my, I'm restricted really um, to how much I can do. Because I, usually I come in the summer and I've got the evenings. Um, I haven't got that this time. So basically the idea today is to do St Mary's Church where my great grandmother got married to um, Louis Joseph Edward Stibe to go and do that because I've not done that on video then to do a bit of the Abbey maybe because I'm a member so I don't have to pay to go in there it was only £3 to pay all day parking and then hopefully get over to drive to Newmarket get over to um, Borough Green and Stetchworth, I really want to do Stetchworth. Uh, it might need, might mean another visit tomorrow. Because, uh, because of the time factor, unless I do another day. If I do another day, then um, there'll be time to do all that as well. Right, over and out for a minute. Right, this is in the Gabby Gardens at Bury St Edmunds. I'm just doing a little bit of video while it's quiet. It's only just about half nine in the morning. If by midday or even ten o'clock, they'll be teeming with people. I've been here before. I think, I'm sure I've come in here with Zara when we did a bit of exploring. We brought brandy. So those are the Abbey ruins, look. Well, Henry VIII is certainly responsible for a lot. I mean, the actual abbey has been restored. I mean, Prince Charles had a lot to do with that. And here are all the original ruins. I've Somewhere I've got a booklet at home. My first visit here, 10, 11 years ago. Um, I can remember having tea and cake in here as well. In, in the, um, and I had something to eat actually in the abbey. I'm going into the abbey, which um, if you aren't a member of it, English heritage you have to pay but this bit's all free they, they've opened all this up for, for, for people to see because not everybody has this opportunity you see and they fence bits off to stop people climbing on them because um, you know that's just going to ruin it isn't it for all these little tiny bits because you get kids climbing on them it's a natural thing for children to do of course to climb on stuff um, yeah, we we'll just have a wander around here. I'm I'm heading also for St Mary's Church where my great grandmother got married, Mary Ann Oak Brooks from Borough Green and Brinkley. It's be interesting to know actually how she met my great grandfather. I mean, I know he was um an omnibus driver, so maybe he met her and I think one of her uncles was a dri omnibus driver and uh, I think she did move to London as a single woman she made an adventurous step for those days it'd be lovely to hear her story <sighs> somehow I imagine she would be the type to have kept a diary I mean they were well read 
um, my great grandparents apparently they were learned people not uh, university type thing but they I think they were active politically aware conscious people and um, and of course my great grandmother who lived in pretty picturesque Cambridge Village, Borough Green and Brinkley moved to the east end of London and in her final years ended up living in one room with her husband and the other family had another room Um, they died within a year of each other and I'm still haven't found their burial place yet. That is something that will surface. It will come. Yeah, that will come. That will come eventually. I'm trying to fit in what I can. I'm doing an awful lot of driving. I mean, I would have preferred to have camped over here, but... I got, I mean, I just as well paid the extra and camped over here because it's costing me, you know, like 20 quid in petrol just to drive here. But I don't mind at the moment. I wouldn't, I would have to have been far more selective if I was on um, just my basic pension. Yes, I just remember from 10 years ago being here. Oh, here we are. Look, some of the family are mentioned on this plaque. The 25 barons appointed to enforce the observance of Magna Carta at Bury St Edmunds on November the 20th, 1214 include Richard de Clare, Gilbert de Clare, Geoffrey de Mandeville, the Big Goods, Robert Fitzwalter, Eustace de Vesey, He's one of ours. He's a Stuttville type person with a different name. Um, titles are now extinct. Declare extinct, extinct. Mandeville died without issue. Um, Robert Fit- in abeyance um, with um, Robert Fitzwalter. Well, I'm his heir <laughs> and the Duvessy bloke. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's very good to have all this stuff about our family. I mean, this is what it's all about. Swore at St. Mon- St. St. Edmund's altar that they would obtain from King John the ratification of the Magna Carta that was on the 20th of November, 1214, where the rude buttress rotters to its rail and ivy mantles o'er the crumbling wall were in the skillful I can scarcely trace the once high altar, lowly resting place. Right, I'm just going to turn off. I wouldn't be able to do any of this on video if, um, if there are lots of people here, and there will be lots of people here. There will be lots of people here soon. This is always the problem when you're doing tree work. The Abbey of St. Nimmer, the crossing and the shrine. Right, I'm going to turn off there. There are people coming. Of course, I never videoed before. I had to do pictures and audio. And I've still got that. That lovely picture, though. Over and out.